Yo, there. Nice, that was an awesome hit. Wow, look at that. Oh my gosh. Wow. That was a cool strike. That was that just out of nowhere. F's, he might pop. I don't know. He's probably got. I got Lino. I got Lino. Oh shoot! 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 He's just hooked in this. He's wrapped right now. Here you go, buddy. All right, perfect. That's a nice fish right there. Wow, that was an incredible strike. Robbie, would you show us how it's done? I like these chopper bites. <laughs> Holy wow. crap! That's a nice fish too. Yeah, wow. another nice one. Hey, hey, how's it going everybody? Guess what? We have got a muskie in the net. And you know what? We're gonna show you how to properly unhook and handle a muskellunge right near, right now. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is get our net secure here. So here I've got just a Velcro strap. Find somewhere in your boat that you can tightly affix your net handle and then look over the side of the boat and make sure that that fish is in the net perfectly. Yep, and make sure your net's long enough and deep enough into the water so that the fish is submerged completely. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is show you how to handle a muskie. As you can see, they're not easy to deal with. So the first thing I've got here is a really long hook out tool like this. This is the grab it. Um, long pliers will work equally well but we can see she's got, wow, she's got one hook all the way in, okay? So this fish, we're not even gonna be able to access the hook without grabbing the fish, to be completely honest. So, and which is scary, because you've got this other hook flying around there. What we'll do, you can see how this rear hook is stuck in the net right now. Let me give her a little water too. Just make sure she has a good drink before we grab her. But that front hook is all the way in. So I'm gonna grab my glove. I'm gonna make sure this rear hook is completely contained within the net here. See how that's totally wrapped? And that will help protect me from getting hooked because I don't wanna cut this rear hook off right now because this bait is on fire. Okay, so very carefully I'm gonna, I got my glove on. I'm gonna get her under the gill right there. Okay, good, she's behaving here. So we'll get a look, see how that is absolutely in there. Okay, I need my hook cutter. Okay, so we got our trusty Nipex here. We're gonna go in right there, cut that just so we don't tear her any more than we've already done. We'll grab the hook point, like, th like that, that's out. This other one's in too, I'm gonna cut that as well, because that one is definitely in there pretty good. Let's see. Ooh, that's why you wear gloves right there. Okay, we're gonna get that other hook. Oh, it came out, I didn't even have to cut it. But now it's kind of stuck, so I'll use the hook out as the player. And she is ready to get back in the water, get her revived. That was the worst, the hardest part of it right there. Now it's important to make sure that that fish's head is in the water, completely submersed. This is when you wanna let the fish relax, revive, Make sure she's in good shape. Okay, she's good and upright, we're good. And this is another thing about dealing with an animal like this. To get this bait out of the net, make sure that if this fish jerks, it isn't gonna rip the bait into your hand. That's probably half the time some people get a fish hook in them. Sorry, I can't talk, I'm kinda excited here with a muskie. Um, half the time they get hooked is when they're trying to fish the bait out of the net. Okay, wow, that thing was firmly implanted there. You know what? I'm not even going to deal with it now. Let's just deal with the fish. Let's get a look at this fish, Robbie. This is your fish. Next on the agenda is to wet your bump board. Just dip it in real quick. Just like that. Put it to what you usually have a designated spot where you put your bump board. This is a righty, so that works good. Put my glove on and let's hold this fish. Not a giant by any means, but you know, when they're biting choppers like that, completely out of nowhere, he's revived. He's been in the net for a while. Nice little guy. We'll just bump him real quick here. He's gonna probably score him just like that. Little 37 incher, but hey, heck of a fight. We'll get him back in the water. And just like that, that is how you safely handle a muskie in the summer.
got him unhooked. Because that was not an easy unhook job by any means. Just being prepared, having all the right tools, and that works good. She's ready to go. We'll keep an eye on her, but she's, she's definitely good. Cool. Wow. What a day. What a day. That is how you properly handle and release a muskie. We've got more to catch. We're already on to a three fish day here. Yes. Could have had two more. Thanks for watching. Yep. We appreciate you coming by. And remember, safely handle yes. your muskies. We need muskies. <laughs> and one more shout out to Capital City Muskies, Inc. Thank you so much for providing such an amazing fishery for us out yeah. here. Yep. 30 minutes away from our house. Man, it wow. doesn't get any better. Thanks for watching.